Thanks for watching another video. Richard Hell with Hell Associations and Hell Web Development. Um, received a lot of messages and questions and a few comments and emails about the Tim Para theme on WordPress. If you're not familiar with it, it's a great free WordPress theme. Probably one of the best ones that I've come across over the years where you can customize and really do a pretty good job at branding yourself without knowing all the programming code and different things that's involved with the design. Um, I've received a lot of questions about the home page so I want to go ahead and make a quick home page video to show you guys how you can customize the Tim Perry theme and the home page. Now this is a website that I have already customized but as you can see it has the same basic elements um, this is your header of course your nav bar this is your slider these are what is called the cry out column pictures um, you'll see six when you first upload your tempera theme so we'll start up here with the slider it's just the basic slider so when you want to customize this what you'll do is go back into your dashboard you'll go down here to appearance and you go to tempera settings now everything pretty much on your home page is right here known as the presentation page so this right here has to do with your blog post which is at the main bottom of the home page you can make it enabled and disable it uh, you can control how many posts are showing up at the bottom so right here is your first options with your home page slider you can set the dimensions how many pixels width how many pixels height different animations as you can see they bunch of different options to really customize the slider the way you want it we got animation time pause time between slides slider navigation numbers bullets none you can have arrows visible visible on hover or you can hide them and you can also add a border and top margin to your slider so right here you're gonna see slides custom slides so you can add up the five slides on the Tempera slider on the home page. How you would do that, just follow slide one. This is going to be the very first one. And what you would do is you would select and upload an image. Go up here into your media file and then whatever image you would want to add, you would add it. Of course you'd come down here and insert it into post. I'm not going to do it because I have already did that. But as you can see, you also have a place you can put your title, you can put your text, and you can also put a custom link to a page, blog article, or a link anywhere that you want to go. And as I said, you can add up to five slides. Each one is the same. Upload your image, you can place the title, text, link and all that's going to show in your slider and it's numbered in your first slider slide one that's going to be the first picture you see two three and so on so when you're done with that make sure you come down all the way to the bottom make sure you save those changes that way they'll take place now also on the presentation page if you remember you're going to see six pictures so this is the cry out column widget columns is what it is so this goes down to where you can put the widget columns or you can go to the latest posts random posts you can put sticky posts there instead of the pictures but most people just use the pictures so we would leave this alone this is how many pictures can be in a row so and this is going across you can have one picture, two picture, three picture, four picture. With this particular theme, we have three, but you can choose whatever you want. And you can customize the uh, height of the picture to an extent. As you can see, the widths are set at 333 pixels. 
Now this is a responsive theme, so it's going to show show up right on mobile, and that's a great thing to know. But real quickly, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and change these. Then we'll come back here and talk about the rest of the home page. So to change these pictures, we're going to go up here and we're going to go to the widgets. And again, these are the six pictures that is below your uh, slider on the home page. So what we're looking for is cry out column. So right here is going to be the widget box that you need to add. And you can see right here, right here is all your options for the theme. Right sideboard, got footer areas, content, above the content, below the content, header widgets, widgets and presentation page columns. The presentation page columns, this is exactly where you want to add your cry out column. And as you can see, I have three here because I have three pictures on the home page. So, and you can add as many as you want. So if you wanted to have 15, you would have to add 15 separate cry out column box text right here. So, well, I, I got our first one over here, and I'll show you how you can customize it and go in it. So, right here, just like before when you was picking the slider image, you would select, upload an image, and this is going to come from your media library. So, you would click on whatever image that you want, make sure you insert it into the post. And just like the slider, this gives you an option where you can add the title you can add the text and you can add the link so you need to make sure you fill that out whether you want to add just one or two pictures uh, you can add up to four across four across and how many ever down you need if you want to add 20 it'll let you add 20 and they'll stay, still stay responsive on the mobile tablet so that's always a good thing um, close that out um, I didn't know if I'll really show you but we'll go back out we'll act like we added it there and they're all responsive you can see they have these right here is the text part of it of course this is going to be where your title goes and in the temporary settings you can actually center these or you can change the colors of the shading here and the read more box so again you know one of the main reasons that I like working with this one especially for clients that's on a budget and kind of limited on what they can spend on web design you know we try to help them out by using this free theme that way you're not out a lot of money for professional theming like I said the theme has a lot of options you can come back in here and you can see all the different options that they have once again we'll go to temporary settings and it has layout settings header settings presentation page text all of these for example here's your layout you can choose different things you can choose how long your sidebar is total width right here's you know for whatever reason if you didn't want it to be responsive you can always turn it off but it has a bunch of different here's your header settings but just a bunch of different customizations so you can you know pretty much build a website without knowing the code and you can still give it you know a unique look to match your brand um, going back to the presentation page uh, you can also add text and this is right here and it's going to be at the extras and again this is on your presentation page you can come down here although we don't have none but you can add a, add a title you can add text and you can also add a second title and second text so all of this is on the home page so there's pretty lot of different things that you can do on the home page and also for those of y'all that 
want to add um, you know copyright to your website name to your business name you can do so here in the last settings of miscellaneous settings you can come down here and add a custom footer text just make sure you, you always save your changes and that's everything on the home page so appreciate you taking the time to watch my video and hope you have a great one thanks